I am Jonathan Reeves from Port City Brewing with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. One of the aspects of brewing that's super important to us is water because we are brewing such low alcohol beers we're talking about beers that are 92 percent water so the quality of the water has to be really important the water has to be filtered the water has to be adjusted for ph ph is hugely important to us it's something we check with everything I mean, everything it's during the brewing process during the fermentation you know going to packaging we're always checking pH among other things. And why pH is important in the brewing process is we want to be able, first of all, to extract what we want to extract from the malt. So we want to be able to extract sugar, but we don't want to extract polyphenol. Particularly with low gravity beers, there's a concern of over loudering. So there are a number of different approaches to that. Our first approach to that is to control the pH of our brewing water. So we adjust it to six pH in a range between I think 5.8 and then 6.2. And that allows us to, under most circumstances, not get into a danger zone towards the end of our louder. There are other approaches too, where you can stop the louder short and then back blend the wort with hot liquor. pH is super important in the boil as well. If the pH is in a proper range, and of course we're looking for a pH range of between 5.3 and 5.2 in the kettle, you can pick up color in a controllable way. The lower the pH of the wort, the less color it's going to pick up through caramelization in the kettle. Also, you're going to get a consistent result for hop utilization. You get less alpha acid extraction when the pH is lower, and you also get a better bitterness is the thought. Essentially, too, it's you want to talk about consistency. So if you have this pH range, you know that you're going to get a consistent result. If the wort gets in the kettle and it's this pH range, you know that if you use the same hops you used last time, adjusted for their alpha acid, the same quantity, you're going to get the same result. Lastly, the importance of pH has to deal with hot break. If you want to get clear wort, then you need to have the right pH in the kettle, you need to get the right hot break. This is very important to us because all of our beers are unfiltered, so you can't make clear unfiltered beer unless you have clear wort. And to have clear wort, you need to have a proper pH range in your kettle and in your louder. But water is like game changer of being able to control the pH of the water. And you know, I have these discussions with some of the brewers, it's like, well, why are we shooting for this pH range? And it's like, well, I can't explain water chemistry I mean, I have like a high school science education. What I do say to them is like, well, we could maybe go into a different pH range, but then we might be making a different beer. So it might taste different. So, and then that's again, when you're talking about like data points and having ranges, the goal is to make the beer the same every single time. In regard to brewing, I remember one of the first changes when I was a pub brewer, when I first started brewing, I was basically, we would mash in, we'd adjust the temperature when we mash in, but we basically add as much water as we needed to make the mash, you know, we really weren't gauging the quantity of the water. We couldn't really measure it, you know, the quantity. I mean, because you're blending it with city water and, you know, you need to do like calorimetry and that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we do the sparge, we kind of guess on the sparge, and again, we'd be blending like a high 190 water with city water to get a certain temperature. So you would have an unknown quantity of, of sparge water. And we would have like a stick in the kettle and like when we'd louder to this, and then, you know, we'd boil, but we wouldn't know like what our evaporation rate was. We kind of got what we got when I first started brewing. You know, as I progressed, I want to use the exact amount of water when I mash in. I want the water to be within a certain pH range. I want to use the exact amount of water that I'm sparging. You know, I want to know the exact volume in the kettle. I want to know the pH of my first runnings and the gravity of my first runnings. I want to know the pH and the gravity of my last runnings. I want to know the pH and gravity of my kettle, what they call KV or full kettle. I want to know the pH and gravity at the end of my boil. I want to have a consistent evaporation rate. I want to know the volume of work going into my whirlpool. We correct our gravity in the whirlpool. To learn more about high quality brewing, click on the link below.